right? We want to make sure that that expander screw is parallel to the to the bike plane, to that cluzo plane. A simple thing. So this one, this is device that I got from the layup, right? And if you look at this, uh, so where my tool is, that's the bike plane. But uh, you could see clearly that the lab has installed the screw at an angle. Mm -hmm. so, so this is a bad appliance. This, this is a bad appliance because this would have caused an asymmetric expansion. And can you just point out where the problem is again? So see right there, if you look from this angle, it, uh, so where my tool is is, is a clusal plane, it's, let's say parallel to the floor. Okay. But you can see that the screw in the middle is at an angle to it. So if this was, if this were, if this were to, to be installed, then it would have uh, made the asymmetric expansion. It would have made this part up and and this this part this way. Oh, so we're looking at the jack screw. Yeah. The jack screw is not parallel to your tool. Exactly. And the, your tool represents the the, the cruzal, reference line. That cruzal plane, the bite plane. Okay, and so you can see that wiggle your the finger on your left hand. Yeah. Here we that go. side is lower. Exactly. The jack screw is lower on that side. Yeah. If I were to install it, it would have moved the, the, the this this side up and this side down. Wow. So can you just comment on um, your process to ensure that these uh, bad appliances don't get put in? Well, you know, first of all, I'm working with a good lab that's always checked that and they always ask me where do I want my screw to be. Uh, a quick shout out to Partners Lab. And then uh, also, you know, we want to make sure that no matter how good the lab is, the, the quality, final quality control rests with me. So I need to make sure that, you know, whatever I get, I need to check it. So you keep the, you keep the mold, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, or the I, mold comes back from the yeah, lab. I just, I just take the mold, I put the tool on top of it, and I'll make sure that it's powered to the jack screw. Yeah, you know, it's a subtle uh, angle, but you can see it with, oh, the, with the naked eye. You know, it's, you can, exactly, you can see it with the naked eye as the, the keywords. Wow. And uh, do you, uh, is this something you teach in your courses? Always. What percentage of MSE providers have this level of quality control, would you say? I don't know. <laughs> Did you... I don't know. Hopefully people who took, who take in my course, they are they, they, they aware of it for sure. Yeah, but just... I guess uh, the point is there's a lot that can be done to prevent some of the more common problems that we've been seeing with MSE, yeah. such as asymmetry, and a lot of it is just common sense. Make sure that the appliance is straight. Let's think about it this way. Whenever we have tooth-borne appliance for a kid, uh, in 20 years, I have ne and I've done thousands of them, I have never seen an asymmetric expansion in a kid because it, you know it's, it's always installed parallel to a cruiser plane and it's always splits evenly. So I would expect anything different from adult unless there is a certain force that's pulling it asymmetrically. Right. Right, makes sense? Yes, makes sense. Thank you, doctor. My pleasure. Okay, take care.